Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. It's another day, another vlog. Yeah, another home vlog, but this time we're heading down to the Vegas Strip to stay at the Luxor. So if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come get lost with us. Well, got up this morning, did some trash, got some stuff thrown out from last night because we did some packing, so we got some extra stuff that we need to get rid of. Uh, I've got ready, loaded the car up pretty much, ready to go down to the Strip because we're staying at the Luxor or the Dorito tonight, which I'm super excited for. I've wanted to stay there since we moved here, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a good experience. Nancy's getting ready. She had to do some business stuff, so she was sending emails and stuff this morning, and now she's taking a shower. It's about noon. So hopefully we'll be leaving soon. You can hear her. Well, you might be able to hear her, but she's upstairs listening to music as she gets ready. Uh, really excited. So another day starting. Let's see where it takes us. We've officially made it into the car. Nacy's finally ready at one o'clock. Takes a lot to look this good. <laughs> uh, now we're going to head down to the strip. It's a little gloomy outside, but it has been raining the last two days, so it's nice to actually see the sun out. Yeah, it poured yesterday yeah and like i think last weekend too it rained like the whole weekend so yeah just i'm gonna get out of the house for a couple days yeah so, yeah we got a cool suite too so you're definitely gonna want to check out our mgm luxor review that'll be coming out in a couple weeks make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when they come out yeah and we're gonna do two whole days down on the strip yeah who knows what we're gonna see what we're gonna eat what we're gonna do but we're gonna do it like we were just talking about, there's some sunny skies. And then if you go over Nacy's shoulders here, there's the gloom coming in. One thing that's nice is that the uh, mountain range kind of blocks some of the water from hitting us. Mm -hmm. But if it's a lot of water, it'll it'll get its way over from California. Yeah, look, the ground's still wet. Like, the ground's still dark and wet. Yeah, which is unusual here because stuff dries out so quickly. It might actually be sprinkling. Yeah, we're nice. actually getting a little bit sprinkles, it looks like, from the windshield. Alright, well, down we go. There we go. Check out behind the gas station. Uh, it's kind of blocked. There's a weird water tower back there. It's kind of like an old school WB looking water tower. It should come up right around. Yeah, you can kind of see it through the construction. It's kind of neat. We stopped at South Point really quick because Cinemart is supposed to have some Ghostbusters popcorn buckets. So we're just going to run in and check and this is the closest Cinemark to the strip. Not to be confused with Skinamax from back in the day. Cinemark. I don't know, they sound similar. But... Okay. Ghostbusters. All right, Ghostbusters. Let's yeah. see. Let's see if they have any. When does the movie come out? Next month. Okay. The boat one's cute too. So we found it. They have the Slimer 10. They have a bucket, which looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's the cups. Pretty cool. Check out the... When does the one dollar start? We found one of the Slimer popcorn buckets. Yeah, so um, kind of excited. They had a Poe one too that was really cute and I thought about getting, but we're moving. We already have so much stuff as it is, but uh, obviously we really love Ghostbusters, so we, we really just had to make sure we grabbed this before. It was, it was a must. Yeah, they were supposed to have some like mini marshmallow stuff too. I didn't see any of that stuff there, but... We're excited and we're gonna go see the movie in probably a couple weeks, right? A couple weeks, yeah, until the movie opens because it's the 20th now, it's so about a month away. Sweet. So definitely uh, subscribe to our podcast, Awkward Chats. We'll talk about it on the podcast. Yeah, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcast, download us and you'll see us talk about Ghostbusters. And so now on to our next stop. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Dorito. Let's go to the Dorito. So we were talking actually when we were walking in. The last time we were here, you can check it out in the show notes, we came to eat at the Late Night Eats because it has like a $9.99 steak deal or something like that. So we came here and we found out like the day later that there was just a dead body rotting in a car in the parking lot. And it was like right around where we were filming. So we're like, hi, I wonder if we actually got the car in one of the shots. Vegas, baby. So we thought you guys would find that funny because that was the last time we were here. Not not because of that, we didn't come back. We just, it's kind of out of the way. 
Um, and it's kind of weird too, if you're trying to save money on renting a car, just a legit tip too, this is actually where they take you to if you don't rent from the major guys. Yeah, so the you, dollar rental I think is like a street over from here. So you take a bus from the airport to this area. So just know that too. A little insider tip for you. A buck. And it, it's not worth the extra money that you're saving yet. Yeah. Alright, off to Zarita. Found our parking spot. It's pretty empty a minute ago, now it seems to be hustling and bustling. It's check-in time. It's check-in time, let's go. And just so you know, it used to be the Dorito. And I, they must have done it for the Super Bowl, but if you watch the game, every time they showed the Luxor, it was Bet MGM, so they did like an overlay on top of it. Now it's back to being like Michelob Ultra Bet MGM. You gotta wonder if Doritos is mad. <laughs> For those who don't know, here is the walkway from the parking garage over to the Luxor. We have made it to the Luxor. Up there is the Titanic exhibit. We've actually done that. Let's check that in the show notes. Got it. Cool. All right. All right, heading to floor nine, y'all. Kind of weird because it pushes you it seems to push you back a little bit no could just be my crazy head though I think it's your crazy head. it is crazy i feel fine my gosh it sounds like someone's pulling this with like a horse and carriage y'all <laughs> so here's our view outside the room kind of see they have like open walkways here and there's like the main area for the luxor Pretty cool. Here's another shot of that food court. There's Starbucks, they were closed last time we were here. That wasn't even opened yet. And there's LA Subs, which is typically closed when we come here. Yeah, in the distance there you can see that red light. We are down at the main entrance and you'll see the Theming is definitely strong out here. There's the stairway to the atrium, which has all the, like the restaurant. Well, not all of them, but most of the restaurants and stuff. And then there's check-in over there with the bell desk. Check out the peak of that pyramid. So cool. Here's our menu for this evening. You want to put your name in? Well, we made it to the Luxor, and now we're sitting down at Diablo Cantina. And we're going to grab by to eat. If you want to see that video, check it out in the show notes. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see us doing some food reviews while we're here. We've got a bunch of stuff planned, and we'll kind of keep you along as we go through the day. So that's what's left over. I have to say, this was super tasty, y'all really really good the steak and the shrimp oh the, the chicken was good too just a little dry but oh so tasty do you want dessert and Macy's... i won't eat this last taco if we eat dessert um uh, sure we're getting another round of mojitos the mojitos were good honestly we came into this restaurant with such low expectations just because a lot of times the food that we eat on the strip is just not quite what it looks to be but this absolutely blew me away. 10 out of 10, recommend if you're down on the strip. It's a little pricey, but honestly, it's worth it. Absolutely 100% worth it. So if you're wandering, here is the atrium. This is the main area where a lot of the stuff is. The food court, Diablo's Cantina. Check out our video on that on the channel. If it's not up yet, make sure to subscribe. You'll find it. Bodies exhibit. Titanic. We've been to the Titanic. Check that out in the show notes. That's a really, really cool exhibit. There's a King Tut exhibit. 
And then I believe over to our left is the fun playland that we're gonna go check out. We might go there tonight. The Blue Man Group does film here in case you're interested. That's pretty cool. Then they have Carrot Top over here and Fantasy, which looks like a strip show. That's always fun. Strip's biggest tease. It's the strip's biggest girl, tease, huh? I was thinking that that was me. So here's the play area. It's like a big playground for kids, and I guess after 5 p.m., only adults are allowed. And then this is pretty neat, too. On this side, there's nice thing. The Blue Man Group yep. mural. I'm always fascinated by the Blue Man Group. I don't really understand it. But uh, it looks interesting, and I'd love to go see a show. And I think because they're no longer at Universal Orlando, um, this might be a thing that we need to do before we leave Las Vegas. Sign for the Menlo Bay. Then they have a shops at Mandalay Bay in the distance, too. What'd you say? Oh, I was going to say the Luxor shop is right behind us, so we need to go get our magnet and postcard. And if you guys want a postcard from us, we'll put some information in the show notes below so that way you guys can see how to get a postcard from us because we have so many that we've been collecting over the last couple of years that we cannot wait to get out to people. So, Or feel free to join our YouTube clubs uh, it's with the channel. You just basically subscribe to one of the clubs. Yeah. Um, all right, let's keep going. Some merch for you. Check out the hieroglyphs on the monolith. So cool. So we're working on making our room key right now. All right, your key is ready. Please remove. Now the next one. Room key is supposed to be ready. All right, yep, I'm done. So to get to the QR code that's gonna ask for, hit the next screen. So to get to the QR code it's asking for, you've got to go in the app, go to your reservations, and then it says like room key and stuff, you got to click on make it room key. And then you go to that and it brings up a QR code that it then scans right there. It's an interesting process, y'all. And this is over here, and check-in is over there. Right behind the check-in area is another bar, Aurora. Drink, play, and discover. There's the Blue Man group again. So there's what we ate tonight. Bonnie's exhibit. We just got off the elevator. One of the things I find really cool about these elevators is they're not actually like a traditional elevator where it goes up and down. You're actually going sort of sideways in the elevator. Now the first time Nacy claimed she couldn't feel it, but- feels it that time. Yeah, so, so I feel like some elevators, it's pretty obvious that you're getting cranked to the side. Other ones, maybe not so obvious. But it's definitely a different feeling because yeah. it, it doesn't feel like a traditional elevator. And every time you stop, I feel like it kind of moves yeah. a little bit. Like it's weird. Yeah, it kind of like rocks into place to get off the elevator. Really cool. That's kind of why I wanted to stay here. So that was a really <laughs> cool experience. Yeah, so we're going to go drop off our snacks from dinner at the room and then we're going to go explore some more. Mm -hmm. So we were walking down the hallway and as you guys can see, the um, smoke, uh, fire, extinguisher stuff that's up on the side there were two birds sitting up here and as we, we we were trying to catch it on camera but we just didn't get it quite fast enough um, I saw the first one first and then the second one they both just kind of flew off so we missed it but yeah there are birds up here birds we're going down in the elevator y'all feels so weird <laughs> I'm going this too. way I'm, I'm going towards the camera Oh, I'm picking up more passengers. Oh. Here's another piece of that Titanic exhibit in the lobby. One of my favorite disasters. <sighs> the RMS Titanic. This is your favorite disaster? Is that what you said? Yeah. It's a disaster. It's, it's one of her favorites, though. It is. I am obsessed with like all things Titanic since I was a kid and I'm sure there's people out there who were also obsessed. It was this, the Bermuda Triangle. Like I was just like really obsessed with these random, very cataclysmic events that happened in history and um, it is a really tragic story but I find all things Titanic absolutely fascinating. 
the shot. The food court's located right in that atrium area. You got our original chicken tenders, Nathan's, Johnny Rockets, banana, bananas, bonos, bananas. And I'm not sure if I'm misspelling that one. New York Pizzeria, LA subs and salads, and a Starbucks. So that's all right here. Not a bad uh, food court, but it's pretty generic, like everything else. There's Vitality O2 bar there, and then here's that replica. I think if it's like the Rosetta Stone. We stopped in Lush to pick up some bath bombs. I'm excited. So we're checking out the Mandalay shops. Like I said, we got some bath bombs and stuff at Lush. The lids. There's a couple art stores in here. Pretty cool. So the Mandalay shops really aren't that big. We're already at Mandalay Bay. And you can actually keep taking that to go to the Excalibur too. Well, that's pretty much it. We stopped at the Centra Bar to grab a couple of drinks, hang out for a little bit. That's pretty cool. I love the balls underneath the bar. Here's our drinks, lemon drop, and what did you get? Pacific or cross the Pacific? Across the Pacific. Now these are two drinks that are specific to this bar. So we're gonna try them and we'll uh, tell you what we thought at the end. Yeah. She said yeah. All right, the drinks at the bar were great. Yeah, honestly, they were I like mine. I like Nacy's a little bit better, but both of them were really good. I brought mine back to the room because it was really loud down there, and I was like, let's just go back to the room at this point. Agreed. So we had a good day, yeah. and we hope you enjoy our little trip down to MGM. If you want to see the rest of our on strip content that we're going to be filming over the next couple days, make sure to subscribe to that channel, hit that notification bell. Our trip. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that we get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you all for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby room? Bye, everybody. Bye.